So in this very short tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the concept of trading in Python. Now I have created this simple uh, demo here. So we have a class called hello and we have a class called world. Inside this, these two classes, we have uh, a loop that is going to display hello for the hello class. And we also have a function say that's going to display world for the world class. So these are the same functions. So let's go to the main method and create these two objects and then trigger the same methods and see what displays in the output. So I'm going to create a new hello object. So I'm going to say hello h is equal to new hello and I'm going to create world w is equal to new world new world okay so this is how I've created these two objects at this time so the next thing I'd like to do is to call the methods in these objects so I'm going to say h dot say and I'm going to say w dot say so let's run it and see what we have so let me run it at this point and let's see and you see it display all at once hello world hello world uh, maybe you can just put a uh, sleep here for one or two seconds so that we can see exactly how it, uh, the flow goes so i'm going to say thread the sleep and i'm going to sleep for maybe 500 milliseconds and this sleep requires that we add exception handling so this is fine and then we are going to also sleep here for 500 milliseconds which amount to half a second so like this so again I'm, I'm going to add the exception handling signature here so if i run this one more time you can see that uh so okay so here it says so we are also going to add exception handling to this so i'm going to run it one more time this time and you can see that it displays one after the other but one thing you can see now is one of these programs run uh after the other one so this completes this operation before this one runs so the question that you might encounter in the interview is how do you implement trading the first method is by extending the trade uh, superclass so instead of having these two classes just be hello we can simply make them extend extend the trade class so in this case now they are now uh, threads they can now run as threads so I'm going to do the same thing here as well extend thread so at this point they are now threads so I'm going to run and let's see what we have okay and actually nothing happens because once you have a thread now you have these two classes they are now thread objects we actually need to start the thread so what I'm going to do now is come to here and say h dot starts because it's a trade like this and i'm going to say w dot start as well like this so now i'm starting the two trades at this time and let's run one more time to see how it plays out here and you can see that it still doesn't work and the reason is because when we when we are starting this trade and we are calling the methods here actually the trades have to have to run because that the trade have started does not mean that it's running so instead of calling c i'm actually going to call run so instead of saying h hey, dot c i'm going to say h hey, dot run like this so i'm going to also say here h dot run all right so let's see how it plays out here so i'm going to uh, uh yeah so nothing happens because there is no run method in these classes so what we are going to simply do is to go to those classes instead of calling having say here i'm going to have run okay so i'm going to simply have run so i'm going to take out this from here and i'm going to add this exception to the class sorry not you so this exception is going to go to the class so i'm going to go more more methods actually uh we are going to wrap around this uh, to be a uh, try catch here so let's put a try catch here because that was expected and i'm going to say catch here and it's going to be a section e and do nothing okay so it's going to be like this 
And let me also replace the, uh, the second one right here. All right, so as I said, as I said before, you are going to actually call the wrong method here instead of calling the same method. And at this point, we are going to simply uh, do it like this. So have the start and we got, have to start them running and they are going to now run in parallel. So at this point, if I run this program, you can see that it's print hello world, hello world, hello world. So it's now running in parallel. So just to recall or to review what we've done, we did uh, make these classes to become threads by extending the thread class. Then we change the methods instead of calling this method say or whatever, we now change the name to run. And then in the main class, we now started the two threads and then started uh, call the run methods of these two threads as well. So this is the first way to implement threading in Python, in Java, I mean. So the second method is to actually implement, instead of the extend thread, is to implement runnable and override the run method. So how does this work? Okay, so let's take a look at the second way to create threads in, in Java, and that's simply to implement runnable. So instead of to say extend thread, we simply say implement runnable. So that's the change you need to make. And we're also going to come here and say implement runnable. All right, so if we go down here, you now see that we have this task uh, will throw an error because runnable does not have a start method. Now, at this point, the next thing we want to now do is to create threads and then pass the runnable object to those threads. You understand? We have to create threads. So I'm going to create two threads. I'm going to say thread t1 is equal to new thread and then I'm going to pass it an object at a runnable type at a runnable object and I'm going to create another thread t2 is equal to new thread and I'm going to pass it a runnable which is uh, w. Okay, so let's try to see if we have it uh, working. So let's click on run and see what we have and it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work and the reason is simply because when we have these two threads here which implement runnable, they, are, they have not started yet. So we have, we, don't, we have not started them. So these two threads actually have to start. We don't have to call any run. We simply have to start the two threads. So what I'm going to now do is t1 dot start and I'm going to say t2 dot start and at this point let's see how it plays out so I'm going to click on the run button here and you can see at this point the two threads are running in parallel you can see hello world hello world hello world so these are the two methods to implement trading in Python just as a recap the first method is to extend the trading uh, the trade method these two classes extend the trade method then you create a trade, a trade object, you start those trades and run them. The second method is to implement runnable, um, uh, the runnable interface and create trade methods and pass the object of the, that, the, of the runnable uh, type or the runnable class to the trade you created and start those trades. In this case, you don't need to call run. So once you, once you have this to implement runnable once you start the trade is going to start running immediately. So these are the two ways to implement trading in Python. I'm going to make this code available for you. Look at the description box of this video. You'll see a link to this code and you can use it to play around and use it to actually prepare for your interview if you want to go for an interview in Java. This is a good way to, to explain what how trading works in Python. In Java, sorry. I'm going to be stopping here. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.